dear students in today's session we are going to see problems on m slash m slash s yes, infinity fifo model so in the previous video we have learned all the basics and formulas on multi server infinity fifo model okay let us go into the problem a petrol pump stations as two pumps so that means the station is having two pumps one and two both are going to service the people so it is a multi server problem so my s is equal to 2 this is the first information i have the service time follows exponential distribution it is obvious with mean of 4 minutes so service time it is very important so when people say service time it is going to be 1 by mu is equal to 4 minute what is the next information given to us and the arrival is poisson process with the rate 10 cars per hour so per if you see the word per hour per minute per day so it is going to be the rate so when people say it as rate we write lambda or mu arrival rate means lambda service rate means mu arrival time is arrival time means 1 by lambda service time means 1 by mu so this is the information given to us lambda equal to 10 per hour okay so with this information with this information we are going to solve the problem what they are asking find the probability that the customer have to wait for the service then the second question average waiting time average time spent in the system average number of cars in the system the average waiting time is wq and the average waiting time in the system is ws and the average number of cars in the system is going to be ls average number of cars in the queue is lq and they are asking what is the proportion of time the pump is remaining idle when it will be idle when nobody is coming to fill that with petrol then the system is idle we remember that idle time is 1 minus rho or we use 1 minus lambda by mu s yes, in the case of our multi server model if it is single server model we use simply 1 minus lambda by mu this is for model 1 and 2 okay that is the difference i am saying in the basic video also let us go into the problem and explore one by one so you have to write in a proper way in examinations you have to write all the informations like this arrival rate follows poisson service rate follows exponential number of servers here that is number of petrol pumps here is 2 so s equal to 2 then they don't speak anything about how many cars would have to be in wait in the petrol bunk so the number of arrivals is going to be infinite that is the capacity of the system then as usual first in first out as i said throughout our syllabus we having fi fo then the queuing model we have to write m slash m slash s infinity fifo here our s is going to be 2 so i am going to write it as m slash m slash 2 infinity fifo next one the arrival rate is directly given to us lambda is equal to 10 per hour but the service time as given that is 1 by mu is equal to 4 minute so now we have to convert mu is equal to 1 by 4 per minute but i don't need in terms of minute since lambda is in terms of hour i am going to convert this into 1 by 4 into 60 that is going to be per hour this is per minute and this is per hour so my mu will be 15 per hour so my lambda is 10 per hour my mu is 15 per hour and my s is equal to 2 with this three informations we are going to solve the problem whatever it is given in the question so before we go into the problem we need the informations we know lambda equal to 10 mu is equal to 15 then s is equal to 2 so that means we need to calculate rho rho s and then we need to calculate capital p not which will be helpful for solving all the other problems since it is a multi server model as i said earlier rho is equal to lambda by mu s so we calculate it as 1 by 3 similarly rho s is equal to simply lambda by mu that is going to be 2 by 3 before we solve the problem we need capital p not all the other informations we have found from the question 
so we know the formula either you can use this formula or you can use this choice is left to you so now we know the value let us substitute this and find the solution so capital p not when i put n equal to 0 the term will become 1 and since s is equal to 2 we have in our problem i will have only two datas n equal to 0 and 1 because s is equal to 2 so when i put n equal to 1 you will be getting row s is 2 by 3 whole power 1 next by substituting the value of rho s we know it is 2 by 3 power s is square so 2 factorial that is s factorial 1 minus rho rho value is 1 by 3 all power minus 1 this is very important so simply use your calculator to simplify this by simplifying we will be getting 0 0.5 5. We need not to be use the fractions, we can simply use the decimals. So we now found 0 0.5 as my capital P0. Now we proceed to our problem one by one. So we should be very careful with this power minus 1. The first question is given as, what is the probability that the customer has to wait? So if two bunks are there, 1 and 2, so the first car is filling the petrol here, the second car is filling the petrol here. Then when the third customer is coming into the petrol bunk, he has to wait. So in the system, if we have two or more cars, whenever a new car is coming, it has to wait to fill the petrol. So the probability of customer have to wait is going to be like this we know the formula probability of n greater than or equal to s is lambda by mu whole power s capital p naught divided by s factorial into 1 minus lambda by mu s so our formula we simply write rho s power s into capital p naught divided by s factorial into 1 minus rho substituting the values we know rho s is 2 by 3 power s that is going to be 2 p naught is going to be 1 by 2 whole divided by 2 factorial 1 minus our rho is simply 1 by 3 by simplifying this we will be getting 1 by 6 that is going to be 0 0.1667 so the probability of the customer as to wait is 0.16 that is 16.67 percentage so the next question asked to us is the next question asked in the problem is what is the average waiting time so average waiting time means wq waiting time in the q we know that wq is lq by lambda so as i said in the previous basic video LQ is very very important. If we find LQ, we can proceed the problem very easily. The formula for LQ is 1 by S into S factorial rho S whole power S plus 1 into capital P naught divided by 1 minus rho whole square. So now we know the values. Just we are going to substitute it. So 1 by 2 into 2 factorial rho s is going to be 2 by 3 s is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 p naught is 1 by 2 and 1 minus rho is going to be 1 by 3 whole square so by simplifying this we can easily find the value of lq so we will be getting 1 by 12 so my lq is 1 by 12 you can write in decimal also but finally what i need wq wq is lq by lambda that is 1 by 12 lambda is 10 so final answer is going to be wq is equal to 1 by 120 so we have completed lq and wq so next we have to find ws and ls the next thing we have to find ws so ws is going to be wq plus 1 by mu so wq just now we found it is going to be 1 by 20 mu is 15 so when you simplify this we will be getting 0 0.075 hours because we write everything in terms of hours next one is average number of cars in the system so system means ls also we know lq and then we know lambda by mu this is the formula just we substitute the value and simplifying this we will be getting the answer 3 by 4 so the answer is going to be 
zero point seven five three by four. We have to round this off. So my L is because the number cannot be in decimal. Average number of cars in the system is one. The next one, as I said, the proportion of pumps are busy. So for the busy system, the answer is rho. In multi server, it is going to be ms. So in every video, I am just keep on telling this for multi server the row is lambda by mu s so it is going to be 1 by 3 idle system so total probability is 1 so probability of idle system is going to be 1 minus row that is 1 minus 1 by 3 2 by 3 that is 67 percentage so now we found all the data which is required for the problem hope you understand how to solve problems on multi server see you in the next video guys share subscribe and support our channel of course it's your channel thank you